Despite its indie roots, the Five Nights at Freddy's series has grown over the years to become one of the most prominent horror video game series in contemporary times. Digging the mechanic of a jump scare and really getting creative with it, developer Scott Cawthon has come a long way since the humble beginnings of Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Today we are counting down the top 10 best Five Nights at Freddy's moments we'll never forget. As you can imagine, this list is pretty subjective, but we've tried to hit memorable moments that have resonated with us and those who have played the games. So hopefully you'll agree with our choices. So with that in mind, let's get to our list. In at number 10, Phone Guy. Let's start off our list with one of the most iconic moments in the Five Nights at Freddy's series, the first call from Phone Guy. Phone Guy is one of the most memorable parts of the Five Nights at Freddy's experience. And fun fact, he's actually voiced by the game's developer, Scott Cawthon. A mix of narrative combined with valuable instructions, Phone Guy's messages feel like the last link to humanity in all of this pizzeria madness. His messages largely set the tone of the game. And when it's finally hinted to that Phone Guy has been dead all along, it's an eerie feeling that is hard to shake. Moving on to number 9, The Details Since the first game, there have been a whole lot of theories surrounding the lore of Freddy Fazbear's. This is largely thanks to the excellent storytelling on Cawthon's part, in which he never explicitly spells out the gruesome events of what went down in the franchise's past. There's a whole lot of hints though, from newspaper clippings about missing children to Atari-style minigames that further dive into that history. While that may not be a specific moment, there's something to be said about players discovering these little details. Establishing an image of the world on their own. And that makes this component of the games land a spot on our list. Moving on to number 8, we have Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Everything about Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is horrific. For starters, the game series innovates itself yet again by introducing a brand new kind of mechanic and story, but utilizes the familiar horrors we know and love. Five Nights at Freddy's 4 takes place inside of a child's bedroom. You're that child, lying in your crib needing to deploy specific tactics to keep Freddy and pals at bay. It's nightmarish, and the ending is one that we won't forget anytime soon. Sorry, no spoilers here, friends. Up next, number 7, The Puppet. A sequel is hard to pull off, but Five Nights at Freddy's 2 manages to deliver on the scares without sacrificing what made players love its predecessor. One of the reasons why is the attention to detail, and the inclusion of mechanics like The Puppet. The Puppet is an evil marionette that you must keep at bay by winding up a music box. So not only do you need to keep an eye on Freddy and company, but an eye on this puppet, who will kill you if you don't placate it. And its creepy music box tune is one that we'd like to wipe from our memory, that's for damn sure. Moving on to number 6, Ballora's Gallery. Five Nights at Freddy's sister location places us in a new world, not only taking place in a Fazbear's sister location called Circus Baby's Pizza World, but also in form as players now venture out of the office into the actual pizzeria. And it's terrifying. Ballora is one of the new characters we're introduced to, and there's a part of the game where you must enter her gallery. Not only are you met with eerie music, but you're forced to explore a pitch black room, and if you don't freeze when Ballora approaches, you're as good as dead. It is downright terrifying. Moving on to number 5, Pizzeria Simulator. One of the things we love about Five Nights at Freddy's is the fact that the series keeps innovating. It isn't afraid to venture into new territory within the horror genre, all while maintaining the charm we know and love the games to have. Prime example of this is our number 5, Pizzeria Simulator. It's a hybrid of the previous games and a simulator game, and it totally subverts both genres in style and form. It's pretty darn great and is equally charming as it is sinister. Plus, you can download this one on your phone, making it accessible anywhere. Hey, playing environment goes a long, long way, my friends. It'll make you terrified of your own bedroom at night. But perhaps one of our favorite moments in this game is when the player can see the reflection of something standing behind them in the arcade's cabinet screen. Yeah, good luck sleeping after that. In at number 4, The Bite of 87. In the series, it's hinted to for a very long time that the reason why the animatronics are no longer allowed to roam freely during business hours is because of a tragic homicidal event. The fourth game in the series finally gave us a glimpse of what happened through one of its minigames. And through that intentionally low-res minigame, we get to witness some 8-bit horror as we see a child's head get crushed in Freddy's jaws. Talk about taking a gruesome scene and making it even more horrific by screwing with notions of nostalgia. Up next number three, Golden Freddy Easter Egg. Here's a moment that some players may not have even ever seen. So, in the very first Five Nights at Freddy's game, there's a variation on Freddy that exists, and persists in later games, known as Golden Freddy. There's a very good chance that from your first playthrough, you never even encountered Golden Freddy. But if you did, you'll understand why this moment is on our list. He will occasionally appear in the game, 
seemingly random, not following the rules the other animatronics follow, and fills your screen with his terrifying mug. If you don't shake him off in time, the game will crash and completely reset. So yeah, you can be on the last night and real darn close to making it through to the end, but then Golden Freddy will f*** you up. It's incredibly unsettling. Moving on to number two, Blind Spots. When playing the first Five Nights at Freddy's, one gets the mechanics pretty well pretty quickly. But there is a part of the game that still scares the crap out of us to this day, because we never see it coming. Or rather, we weren't fast enough to stop it. We're talking about when the animatronics sneak into the office via your blind spot when the hall lights are off. When this happens, you can hear groaning in the room, specifically groaning if it's Bonnie or Chica. And as soon as you take your monitor down, you'll be hit with a jump scare. It is horrifying. Often this is your first introduction to the beauty that is Five Nights at Freddy's jump scares. The worst is when you run out of power and the room goes fully dark and you know for a fact that one of those animatronics are in that hallway in that blind spot and it becomes a waiting game. The anticipation could kill us, but we know one of the animatronics probably will first before that happens. And finally, in our number one spot, Help Wanted. Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted was released on May 28th of 2019, and it answered oh so many prayers we had for the series. Help Wanted is the long-awaited VR Five Nights at Freddy's game, the seventh in the series and chronologically set after the events of the sixth game, Pizzeria Simulator. Presented as the Freddy Fazbear virtual experience, this well-received title is a little meta. It's a game that was produced by a fictitious company called Fazbear Entertainment to help improve its image after suffering from a slew of lawsuits. Can't imagine why they'd be sued. Can you? <laughs> this number is more than just one moment because Help Wanted is filled with so many memorable moments, including mini games and some of the most horrific jump scares, made even scarier thanks to VR. The game has five mini games inspired by previous titles, adapting their mechanics to work in VR, breathing new life into familiar scenarios. Then there's Parts and Service, a mini game in which you have to perform maintenance on several of the animatronics by opening them up, cleaning them off, and swapping out parts. Don't follow the pattern and you'll get whacked with one hell of a jump scare. And death, of course. Then there's Vent Repair, which takes place in Inside of a maintenance shaft and is flat out terrifying. Win at all the 50 mini games and you'll unlock Pizza Party, a game that is a maze and makes use of teleportation tactics. All in all, there's a reason why this game is one of the top selling VR titles on Steam right now. All right, there we have it, friends. What's your favorite Five Nights at Freddy's moment? Give us a shout in those comments below and let us know your thoughts. If you did this video, spread that love, hit that like button, and be sure to subscribe to Top 10 Gaming for more lists just like this one. In the meantime, thanks for watching, friends. I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you.